Hello there YouTube, it is Lewis from Cool Customs and today I'm going to show you how to make the J option pane calculator thing which I just come up with the idea for. So how do you make it? Very simple. Um, we're going to make this a method because I want to kind of teach these things in a good way in, well, in the best way I can. So, calculator this. <coughs> and this is not going to take any par uh, parameters, so don't worry about that. So, first thing to do is string 1 equals j option pane <coughs> dot show input dialog <coughs> now um I'm gonna have this called L1 or something show dialog and then so my colon and first number first number colon space so then that's gonna ask for the first number brilliant now we have to have something called string L2 equals J option pane dot show input dialog second number because that's how we want this to work <coughs> and then colon space <coughs> and then we have int num1 equals int integer dot parse I can't spell integer oops and then inside here you put l1 now that's wrong so we're going to have to change that to integer right be back in one second So once you have parsed the int, basically your number is now a string. <coughs> Yay! So you got to do the same thing for l2 equals int uh, j dot parse int l2. Lovely. And then, ooh, number two. And then we can have another int called answer, which is going to equal num. You know what I've just thought? Double num, and then another double, and then this will be a double equals num plus num two num one plus num two and then we are going to have <coughs> j option pane dot show message dialog them and then you're gonna show null this and answer and then that is basically it. Right, so the answer is this and then you do a plus and then that is nice and lovely. So this isn't going to work yet until we call calculator though. Just remembered. It's call calculator, no parameters, that, that works. You can do this and then we run main class and it runs the calculator and you can do 8, second number 7, answers 15, 8 plus 7 is 15 so you can run the calculator again and you can do decimal numbers and 
Oh. Well, um... Oh, right, I've got a feeling you can do double dot parsint. Double dot... I will find out how to fix that problem in the next video, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.